Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I was going to wait to do this um, video, but I could not, could not, could not, could not wait. Um, I presented um, the stressor to you guys earlier this week, and that was one of the archive um, way back in the day, a 2009 um, hobo style bag, right? And when I uploaded that video, in that video, I told you that I was waiting on something to arrive. Um, and it arrived. I looked it over and I clipped the tag. Um, Y'all know I just can't just jump right in and just show you the bag right off the bat. So I'm going to give you the reason why I'm, I'm doing this for a reason. Um, so I presented the artsy the beautiful RC to you guys um yesterday um uh, which is the bohemian the hobo um style um bag one of the most popular um hobo style bags um that Louis Vuitton has outside the graceful the sully and all of that right but I this you guys know if you've been following me um um you know that the hobo style is my my favorite style when it comes to um, handbags, right? Um, and I went on the search to just find the hobo style bags. And I knew, based on the longevity of Louis Vuitton, I knew that the hobo bags that I was running into, like the Sully, the Graceful, the Delightful, um, all of those, the, um, the hobo, the Matisse hobo, and all of those, um, that I um, that I have in my um, that I have purchased, um, I knew that there had to be some that went past like the time for the Sully when the Sully was out. I knew it had to be some older ones. So um, I I did um, my research and I came um, across the one the stressor that I found um, very reasonable very reasonable um very low cost um bag um no the the previous owner and i'm really shocked because that that bag this bag is it was it the style came out in 2009 but it is a 2010 um bag so it's over 14 years old and the um the the patina on it is just it's just at that per, per, perfect stage I'm showing you this because I want to go over the um the the bags that I got that are the vintage style. Now we already know that the artsy um had some issues with the top part of the monogram, right? The, it was some issues with the the canvas. So um, what Louis Vuitton did is instead of discontinuing our beautiful artsy, um, they added the Vachetta leather at the top of the artsy and that's what I have. I never owned the one that didn't have the Vachetta leather, so I don't know the difference. Um, so some people don't like the Vachetta leather, some people like the original. Um, I, I, I like this one and I'm almost certain that I probably would have liked the original as well. So um, I, I'm happy with the artsy style that I have. I know that Louis Vuitton sometimes do a change in their bags if it's something going on with it, um, like a glazing issue or something like that is going on with the bag. So they'll do like a, a change in it. Or if they get too many negative reviews, they'll change it up or something like that. Similar to what they did with the carry-all um, when the tags was up front and a lot of people had an issue with it. So they did a difference in the carry-all and they just made it like a zipper with the long strap and they took away the um Vachetta straps up front so they always make the adjustments when the consumer is the ones that's paying um makes a loud noise on social media but let me digress because y'all know i'll be talking about something that don't have anything to do with this video one thing i want to say about 
our beloved Louis Vuitton. I am a Louis Vuitton um, collector. I collect luxury handbags. My most favorite luxury handbag of all is Louis Vuitton. My most favorite style of Louis Vuitton bags is the monogram canvas. I know the Damier Bean was the original style. The checkerboards were the original style of Louis Vuitton. And then um, some years later, they came out with the monogram canvas. I absolutely love the monogram canvas with the Vachetta. I'm not afraid of Vachetta. I do not fear Vachetta. Um, I know we as the consumers have come up with ways of protecting the Vachetta by using Apple Guard. And um, just know that Louis Vuitton is not recommending um, any type of usage, any kind of sprays, any kind of um, cleaners or anything like that on your canvas. So when you put something on your canvas or on the leather of your canvas, you're using it at your own risk because Louis Vuitton is not recommending this. Even though it's been tested and tried and true, we've all used it. I used it on my Neo, my Noe. I used it on my um, Graceful. I used it on just about any bag that had Vachetta leather. The first bag that I did not use the Apple Guard on is the RC. Um, I just want to just see it um, just grow. I just want to see the life of it. Um, and so many people say, just, just let it do what it's going to do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be somebody just walking around like, Oh my God, I can't get anything on my bag. No, that's not me. I feel like that we, we invest so much in these handbags that we need to enjoy them. That we definitely don't want it to get damaged. I get that part. We don't want, um, inclement weather, um, um, to kind of, um, do some spotting or something on our um canvas um we want it to stay as clean as possible for as long as possible but some things you just can't prevent from happening you may accidentally accidentally drop your bag in an area where it's not so clean and the spot gets on it life will go on things do happen so um as clean as you want it um as as clean as i try to keep my bag things can happen um, I have not had one of those whoopsie moments um, in life of, with the Vachetta bag in my hand, um, but it can happen because I am a klutz. So I get, I do fall often. Um, well, you know, when I was younger, I don't fall as often as I did when I was a younger um, woman. But anyway, I'm not an old woman, but y'all, I am jabbering on. Okay, so anyway, the mechanism, um, the, I'm sorry, the craftsmanship that Louis Vuitton has given us. Um, we deserve more. We want more. Um, we pay for more. Um, we look for more. We desire more. Um, and um, they've been putting out a lot of leather goods lately. Um, they'll put out like different color leathers, um, um, different kind of um, backpacks and things like that. Um, that's given us some of the backpacks has given us vintage, um, looks and things like that. But, um, some of the craftsmanship makes you concerned about who's in the room when these things are being crafted. Um, my suggestion is to always, if you're buying a new, new handbag from Louis Vuitton through the boutique, right at the boutique, um, make sure you're looking the bag over. Make sure you look it in and out. Make sure if it's supposed to clip or close or whatever, make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do. Make sure nothing is slanted or something is going on with the fold on the side or something, anything. Check the bag out thoroughly. Look it over. Make sure you look it over. It is an investment. Even though we collect these, even though we love them, even though we carry them, these are investments. Um, we can always find a way of um, um, rewarding ourselves with an investment by selling one that we're not reaching for. And I am, I'm very proud of myself because I'm making very specific choices this year so far. I'm not just buying on impulse. There have been bags that I've seen that I've really, really thought hard and long for. And, um, and, I, and I had to back it off because I was like, Lisa, will you reach for that bag? Will you think about that bag? I have bags that I maybe shouldn't have purchased. Um, and they're beautiful. Um, like a Diane, it's just sitting there now. 
like the on the go is just sitting there now. And I love these bags, but I'm so into my backpacks and my hobo bags that some of the smaller bags and some of the bags um, that I purchased last year and this in the early part of this year and all of last year and the year before, they're not getting their um they're not getting their wear. Even though I reach for some of them, sometimes I have to consciously remind myself, hey, you haven't carried that bag in a while, carry it. Because I'm I'm paying attention to what I don't reach for. And even though it may be immaculate and at one time I may have loved it, it's gotta go. If I can go a whole year without thinking about that bag, it needs to it needs to go. Unless it is a timepiece, unless it is um a limited edition, like the um consumer bags. Um if I don't reach for those, I'm not selling those. Those are um collective items. So certain collective collection items, I'm not gonna sell those because yeah, um that's gonna be a pretty penny one day. Um, but certain things, um, certain bags that that I don't think about or don't reach for, even though they're beautiful or whatever, they they gotta go. They gotta be sold so somebody else can enjoy them. But I've spoken um, long enough about um, the artsy and all of that, so let's get into it. So I showed you guys earlier, um, well, yesterday when I uploaded the video, the stressor. Um, this is a beautiful bag made in 2010, came out into, the style came out in 2009. This is when craftsmanship was doing what it was supposed to do. This is brass. This is not, I mean, I don't have anything to do with, um, any problems with the gold that's now like on the, the Pache Matisse's, um, the graceful, the gold that's out now is different than this gold. And you can tell because I looked at the gold that's on and it's not a bad thing um because the only difference is um this will tarnish this will tarnish you have to you have to watch this um it will the gold the gold that's on the artsy and the the um graceful or any bag that has gold on it um they're gold plated um sort of and they um they're they're st it's still made beautiful. It's still a beautiful piece, but it's just a different look than the brass. You can tell the difference in person. You can tell by video. You probably can't go looks like gold, but in person you can definitely tell the difference between between the brass look and the gold look on the newer styles. And the thing about it is, um. Maybe there's a reason why they went from brass into gold. I don't know. Because that don't take away from the beauty of the bag. Because gold is gold. But when you know that something had something and it's such a, a bold statement um, with the brass and with the um, more bachetta, the monogram, just just perfect, you, you want that same craftsmanship to continue on. That's what drew you into Louis Vuitton. That's what made us want to invest in Louis Vuitton. When you spend thousands of dollars on a bag, it is an investment, especially when the bag appreciates and do not depreciate in value. Um, they appreciate in value. Um, this one is one that I was telling you guys about yesterday. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is the hobo style. It is the stressor. It is perfect. It is beautiful in every imaginable way. The zipper is everything. I love the craftsmanship. I love the thought process in this. I love just the beauty of it. I love all the Vachetta. I am not afraid of Vachetta. Give me Vachetta with monogram. I know people are happy, um, like the bags, like the RC only has the strap or whatever. Give me the Vachetta with the monogram because that's what I expect to get when I buy a monogram bag. That's what it started out with, and I need that. I want that. Um, so that's where I'm at with it. So, you know me, when I come across a beauty, I continue to look. So I kept looking through Fashion File, and I kept looking. I was like, okay, now I found that stressor. Oh, my God. I came across, oh, such a beautiful bag, guys. I think the bag originally came out in 2008. 
this the year I have is 2009. This bag is absolutely, I don't know, and I would like to shake the hand of the previous owner. Um, thank you. Um, you must have known that you were eventually, the bag was going to um, eventually come to me. Um, I thank you for not getting any pin marks in my bag. I thank you for taking care of the corners and the piping and the, just the vachetta itself. Does a, a bag that is 2009. This bag is 16 years old, guys. And when I show you this bag, you're going to be like, you're lying. She either she just didn't carry it or whomever owned it, whatever they did with it, either they did not carry it or it just was like she had so many that it didn't get a lot of um wear and tear on it. I don't know, but I'm happy. Hey, and the stressor is is perfect. I'm moving the stress out the way. So I can present to you guys the Eloy, Eloy, I'm going to put the name, <laughs> it's on the video because I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but it is the LV Hobo um, Eloy um, City GM bag. This bag is a 2009 bag. Um, it is made with the Vachetta leather with the quilted um, canvas. Oh, God, everything about it. And it's fashion file. I don't know. I don't know. But they sent this thing, and I was afraid. I was like, what? Now, let me tell you. For what it looks like, I paid the price for what it looks like. Let me just tell you the difference. Stressa, even though it's it's beautiful, it's clean and all that. It you can tell the corners on it. I cleaned it up. Um, but, and I'm gonna show you guys what I cleaned my bags up with. Just to, just light maintenance. My newer bags, like the RC and all my other bags that I recently received, I don't have to do it too because they're new. Um, but to maintain bags like this. Um, bags that I got from the generally used site. I do try to watch them because they are older and they have been used. Um, so I just try to watch for any kind of cracks in the leather or anything like that. So I try to keep them conditioned and all that, right? But this one was... Uh, I can get my receipt... But this was under a thousand dollars. I know that, way under a thousand dollars. Um, I did not pay that much for this one, and I grabbed it, and I was I was risking it because I was like, oh boy, I might be sending this sucker right back. I looked it over about five times because I could not believe how clean it was. Very clean. I don't know if they made a mistake on the price. I don't know if this they thought this was another bag. But normally when you get a bag this clean, even though it's an older bag, because like I told you, the bags don't really lose their value, this would have been much higher. Um, Because trust me, I'm on Fashion File. I live on Fashion File. What's going, what, what goes around? I'm the real, real. I live on those sites, guys, because I'm looking for the great deals. Um, But Fashion File turns out to be my favorite one. Um, But this one... Is gorgeous, right? She going over there, right? I have in front of me one of the most beautiful hobo bags I have ever seen. Now, let me just tell y'all. Let me just be real. The Graceful is making its way on down that list of my favorite hobo bags. The more that I'm running across these gems, oh my God, these vintage pieces, Louis Vuitton, y'all killing me, y'all killing me, oh gosh. So these these are this is when I when I talk about craftsmanship, when I talk about give us what we pay for, give give us what we pay for. 
This is what we're talking about. Louis Vuitton, this is what we're talking about. Now, let me just show you. Okay, so, y'all, I'm in love with this bag. It is so beautiful, freaking perfect. Look at the piping on here. Look at it. It's different versions of this bag, and I'm trying to figure out, um, I'm trying to figure out when um, this bag, came out bear with me guys because i don't normally um be on my phone um on my work phone looking up stuff when i'm videotaping with y'all but just for the sake of just giving um giving um correct information Okay. It's so many different versions of this bag. Um, there's one that looks a little different. It's like layered. It's one that sits up. Look, It looks sort of like a tote. And I think they just had a run of a style. Because this was a limited... It was called a limited edition. Um, and one thing I love about this one... Um, and I could get my paperwork, but as soon as I get a bag from, um, Fashion File, I put up my paperwork and all of that. And because once I, um, I, I don't know why it is, I guess just for the safety of it, I always send a picture to, um, my CA, um, from Louis Vuitton and I have them look at, they don't mind. I have them look at it and they like, yeah, you got yourself a good one right there. That's a beautiful bag. So... If you go um, on Fashion File, they come, they go fast because I'm looking on Fashion File now, and the these are sold out right now. Um, the monogram E at at all at all at all at all at all E T O um, E T O I L E City G M. So I was pronouncing it wrong the first time. It's all. And I'll correct it if I learn another way of pronouncing it. But hey, she is just a perfect style. I believe she's one of many. I've not been able to find um the line of when they were out. Um shoulder bag, um, canvas, um, embroidered, padded, um, crafted, um, of star embroidered padded Louis Vuitton monogram on tall canvas. So th the canvas is different. I thought this canvas was different than just a regular canvas. This canvas is a is 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 um, spelled T O I L E. So um, canvas is not the, it's the monogram on totally canvas. Um, the bag features of a shadow looping um, leather shoulder strap with the brass hoops and sturdy anchor and a, and a top zipper. The open, uh, this opens to a microfiber interior with room for everyday essentials with the luxury and style of Louis Vuitton. Yep. So I'm not trying to get all archive, archive bags. But one, if I if 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 I can't stop thinking about it, I gotta own it. So this is not just a regular monogram canvas because I was getting ready to say like, what in the world are they trying to do to me? Why is this canvas so beautiful? It's different, guys. It is beautiful. I wish you guys could feel it. It is so soft and squishy, and look at how that look. Oh my God, guys, the piping on here. Let me show you the corners. We're talking about a 2000, unless this lady, the pre, I mean, I don't know her, the person or him or whomever owned it, unless they had this bag done over, I am in awe. I am in awe. So let's just get into it. This is removable. 
So if I want to put another strap on here to make it longer, I think it's too big to be crossbody. But let's just think, it kind of reminds me of the um, graceful, but the the graceful strap, I wouldn't change the graceful strap, but the graceful strap can take come off, right? Um, I wouldn't change that strap. I don't think it would, no. But if I wanted to change this one, this one is definitely removable and I could find, um, I got tons of a shadow straps. I got a monogram strap. I got, I got a few straps that, I, that come to mind when I think about this bag. Um, I think I'm going to leave her just like she is. I was thinking about putting that gold chain on that I have on the Stressa on here to see if it'll look cute on here to try to, um, bring it up to, um, 2024 when Louis Vuitton is trying to throw gold, gold strap on um, gold chains on everything. Um, but let's see if this will even go around it. Okay. Here's the, okay. This is how you can tell. This is a brass loop. And you can tell by the way that it is aging, that is brass. Look at the difference. Look how gold this is. It's probably not going to pick it up. This is gold, gold. And this is that brass look. I find out the re And it might not even be a deep reason why they switched to brass. It might have just been <laughs> just a... Uh, a decision they made. Just, we no longer make them with brass anymore. I don't know. But I just know that I feel like we got um, our money. The And, and the, the, bad, the crazy part about it is, in its day, this is what's funny. When it, the cost range of this bag was like $1,800 when it was out back then, right? Some of these bags, this I'm talking about this specific bag that's on Fashion File, cost more than it did when it was originally out. They have they had one on there that was twenty three hundred. She was perfect. I don't know what 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 people why people didn't carry this bag or why the price of it is so up or whatever. I guess because it may be a demand for it because it is a limited edition, but it's like um. Almost five hundred dollars more than retail, um, on um fashion file. So I was like, "Wow, look at that! Look at that!" So th this is brass, and this strap can come off. I'm going. I'm going to get through the bag. I'm going to get through the bag, guys. I don't want it to be a very long video, but I'm almost making it be one. Right? They still they got the little tabs here. And the tab does have Louis Vuitton on there. And the tab is brass. It's just a different look. You can't probably tell on, on the video. Um, th these are beautiful. Now, let me tell you what I had to do before I open it. Um, what I always do when I decide and I, and I clip the tag, um, I always wipe my bags down. Because for one, someone else was carrying this bag. Someone else had their hands all over it. Someone else had their belongings all over it. So I do what I got to do to make myself feel comfortable, right? So baby, non-scented baby wipes are fine to use. You do not want to get scented baby wipes to wipe down your back. And you can put that on the monogram and the vachetta. It won't hurt. And then for the vachetta, for all of my vachetta that needs it, because the new model should not need it um, unless you took it somewhere to dry out and the leather is doing something. This is the leather cleaner and the leather conditioner. And it was a few spots on here that looked smudged um, that I was like, okay, I, I'm fine with if that doesn't come off. I just put some leather cleaner on there. I waited till that dried out and then I put the conditioner. Came back. I was like, what is going on? I I was like, yes. I was really concerned. Came right off. It was like a little smudge here. And it might not even been something that happened. But when the owner had it, it could have been just something that happened when they when it got the fashion file. I don't know. But 
I'm just showing you guys again. Okay, so this can come off. This beautiful little thing opens like that. Pops open. Isn't that beautiful? Look, y'all. No scratches. I'll be worrying about my Pochette Matisse getting scratches on it. Look at that. My favorite be worrying about if they're going to get scratches on it. Look. I don't... I, I, I got a feeling that person really did not carry this. Because it is just... These are... This is the zippers that were out then. They're totally different than the ones that um that are on the newer ones and the zipper is zippering <laughs> the inside has two back pockets has the tag here and it's made with that bait it smell really it smell very nice on the inside guys and i already have her filled up i don't do what's in the bag but i can tell you all of my um everything all of my day um, ed, everything that I need to get through the day is in here. My catch-all is in here. Um, I got my wallet, my medication, um, my sinus medication, my inhaler, all of that good stuff. Everything that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis can fit in this bag, and I still have more room. Can I fit my tablet in here? Of course I could. Um... The size of this, which is obviously smaller than the artsy, um, but don't let the size look of it um, um, fool you. It still can carry a wop because um, I tested it out. I put a shirt in here and my tablet and they could fit in here closed up and all the bag did. It has like a uh, it has like a round expanded kind of thing that it does. That's what it did. All, all it did is expand. And I was like, wow, wow, look at that. So, hey, that's all. And, and it, and it just um, spread it out because it's not, it's not filled to capacity. If I wanted to get more things in here, I could, but I'm always conscious of my shoulders and mindful of that. I don't have any shoulder issues, but my sister has uh, had to have rotator cuff surgery and her shoulder has never been the same. So, and I'm more conscious of the wear and tear of our shoulders because of her and other women that I know that experience those issues. Um, Cause your shoulder, even after surgery is never really the same. Um, it helped ease the pain, but you know, sometimes it's just what, it's just the wear and tear of life. Um, but I'm going to come back and do a more detailed um, video on her. Um, I may decide to do my first what's in the bag with her because I know a lot of people are going to want to know if they run into this bag on um, Fashion File, what goes around, um, places like that. Um, you're probably going to want to know what all will fit in here. The great part about it is I like the fact that this is removable. If I wanted to change this out, I could. This strap is really nice. It is well kept. You can tell that this bag has been used by the strap, but nothing else. It smells so heavenly, guys. It doesn't have a scent um, like a unpleasant scent. And that, and that, and with Fashion File, you really don't have to really worry about that because they don't even take in junk. They'll let you know this bag is not, you know, or it'll be if it's one that's really just damaged and just horribly, horribly taken care of, um, it'll be very low. And they'll get, and they have to point out everything um, that's going on with it. It is damaged on it. The canvas is busted or something like that. Something is wrong with it. But I've said enough, guys. I am very happy with this beautiful immaculate bag. Um, I I couldn't be more happier. I really am. I am more happy um, than I was than when I got. <laughs> oh goodness, I bought a few bags last year. It did not make me this happy. And I thought, and it, it's the Diane. Um, if I could, if I could have done it all over again, the Diane is not a bad bag, but because I'm loving, I love bigger bags, I don't reach for her. And I know it, it will pain, it will hurt me and pain me to sell her, but she may be on the chopping block without the guitar strap really soon. I'm not going to sell the guitar strap because I like it. 
Um, as a matter of fact, the guitar strap may fit on here. Um, but I will sell it without the guitar strap eventually. Um, but I'm going to just hold out a little bit longer to see if I will gravitate to it um, on a, maybe a date night out or something like that with my spouse or a girl's night out or something. I don't know. But I've talked long enough. You guys, I am very, very happy. The next purchase that I'll be purchasing is probably going to be, well, it's not going to be me purchasing it. Let me just say this. My husband is purchasing um, a new bag for me that came out this year, and it took us back to old school. You guys may already know what I'm talking about, but when I get it, because it's so super expensive, that's going to do me in. The price of that bag is probably the price of three bags that I could get off of Fashion File. Um, it's pretty steep. And he told me, if I get this, you're done for the year. And I was like, do I really want to say I'm done for the year? Do I want it that bad? I want it that bad. So if I am done for the year um, with getting bags after that one, I will go over, I will give wear and tear, I will give, I will give um, my opinion on different bags aging, different bags that I probably haven't featured in a while, um, bags that you may not have seen, because I have not did a video on every single bag that I own, I just, I just haven't, um, some bags I just, I don't know, I, I was going through a phase where I was just buying bags, I'm like, wait a minute, Lisa, you're not a millionaire, um, so, bring that back so it, yeah so it, it was a time when i was i was getting my my shop on when it came to bags but now i'm at a place where i'm looking more at the fact that did i really need all of those um so that's where i'm at um i will show you different styles um not just hobo and um just really share my thoughts and opinions this year it is starting out as a beautiful year, May of 2024. I just want to say to my um, subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting my page. Um, it won't hurt, guys, if you're just listening to this video to hit that subscribe button. Even if you just come by every now and then, it will help my my, um, my page to grow. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, if you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, and you can definitely comment at any time. Thank you for your support. If you listen to this at the end of the video, ladies, have a wonderful, beautiful, special Mother's Day on um, this Mother's Day weekend. We don't, we're not celebrated enough. So, if you, if nobody else tells you you're a queen, you are a queen, and you deserve to be pampered every single day. Um, mothers out here, we don't have it. Um, people think that. Um, it just comes naturally to do what mothers do. Sometimes it's a day-to-day -day process. It's not always as easy. We make it look easy, but sometimes we're pulling from everything that we got, you know. So if you have a mother in your life, if you are a mother, um, if you have if you have a grandmother or or someone that that you know that's having a hard time, just you know, get, give them a call and just just say, I see you. And I appreciate what you do. I thank you for being that great example that other mothers need. Sometimes we need that, guys. Sometimes mothers just need to just hear that. Um, thank you guys again for supporting my page. And have a wonderful, beautiful weekend with your family and friends or with yourself. I'm not sure what you're doing, but let's all just be grateful for life. Be peaceful, guys. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.